In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I invite you to be seated. <clears throat> Good morning. Happy Easter. In this particular part of the Bay Area, people regularly recommend heading over to the Filoni Gardens in the springtime. Because in the meadow there, there are literally millions of daffodils, all yellow and white, a riot of color, of sunlight. And there's a path that lets you wander through them. And the trees are full of pink blossoms. And there's sunshine, and the birds are singing, and the bees, and the gentle breezes and sometimes a turkey. It is like the celebration of Easter Sunday has broken out in the world in all of its glory. It is joyful, and it is abundant, and it is generous. It shouts, Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Thank you. When I went there the first time, though, I was reminded of another daffodil, a single flower that I carry in my heart. It was a daffodil that bloomed each February in the very center of my brown, dead lawn in the midst of the frozen winter in the grayness of Queens. Because in February in Queens, it is still bitterly cold, and the winter is so long that you feel like it will never end, and your feet will never be warm. And then this single small flower would appear and stand in the midst of the frosty dirt as a reminder that soon winter would be over and spring would begin again. Now, I don't know who planted it. The people who lived there before me had 12 children. I think one of them must have planted it. But it was the only flower in the entire year, and it bloomed every year always poking its head up in a moment when I was pretty sure that we would not make it to spring, that winter would win. For me, that single daffodil is like Easter. It is Jesus saying, do not be afraid. Go and tell them they will see me. Do you hear the difference between the two? This Easter Sunday, as we gather to celebrate that death has been vanquished, that God's love has reached past the grave to gather us together, we are like that field of daffodils. We are a celebration of Easter Sunday. We are a shout of joy that affirms the wondrous and great thing that has occurred. And we are proclaiming that God's love has broken through and is covering the entire world. This celebration is going to last 50 days through Pentecost. And then every Sunday for the rest of the year until next Easter, we celebrate and call it a little Easter. Every Sunday, we will have a celebration of the way that God loves us and feeds us and cares for us and loves us again and again and again. That single daffodil, though, is Easter itself. It's the Easter that appears 
on the coldest and hardest days in the world, a single bloom that reminds humanity that darkness can be vanquished, that death is not victorious, that the story has not ended. That kind of Easter, the being Easter, rather than simply celebrating Easter, happens every day, all year long, because of us. Those of us who know God and believe. Those of us who are baptized into the work of reminding the world of Easter. When we sit down next to someone who mourns, someone who is stricken by grief, someone whose heart is so broken that they believe it can never be repaired, we are a single daffodil, a bright spot of Easter. When we are the voice that calls for justice in a world that says not everyone is important, when we are the hand that reaches out to give someone an offer of help, of care, of food, of water, of whatever is needed, when we advocate for love, when we advocate for understanding in a world that is right now clearly divided by hatred and confusion, on those days, we are the daffodil. God's gift of hope in a world that is sometimes cold and dark and defeated and angry. We are the reminder that there is a God that ensures that life overcomes death and that love overcomes hate every single time. Today, we celebrate Easter as a community. We feed ourselves, we regain our strength and our joy, and tomorrow we must take Easter with us into the world to remind the world that love wins every time. That the story isn't over until the love of God has broken down every barrier, softened everything that is hard, warmed up what is cold, and picked up what has been tossed away. Now, this morning, let us celebrate Easter, shout with joy, sing with gladness. Let us have all the hallelujahs. And then let us go out and be Easter, wherever we find ourselves, reassuring, reassuring the world that holiness is always present and that darkness does not win. Tell the Easter story. God is love. God is here. God loves each one of us. Be the daffodil. And then, next Sunday, come back to this field and be fed again and rejoice.